Hello, welcome to Cypress Automation. This is Sherful. This lecture is about to see chaining a session. What is chaining a session? We have seen one of our previous tutorial how to do a session, uh, but you may have apply you may can apply chaining a session in the same uh, or one test cases. It means more than one session in the same test cases. Okay, to you know double. Uh, to reconfirm that you know it's past both of the assertion uh, for your test cases let's see an example so in our practice page uh, if we I mean it's a very simple uh, you know scenario we have a title it's called automation practice so if we do assertion over here you know we'll look at this element and then first the session the simple assertion would be this title is visible right this text or title is visible we can add a one more uh, assertion on the same test case to ensure that the text you know the, the string the automation practices also is there it's not only visible but also we can match the the text format the you know uh, the string uh, text or messages or uh, you know this title is that actually it's showing automation practice or some other different text so it's a two assertion one is visible another one is matching the the message right or text format so that's what we can do so that's called chaining assertion so you are doing multiple assertion on the same test cases okay it's a very simple but you know it's good to uh, good to know it so let's um, uh, ha, you know uh, do this practice it's gonna be a very quick uh, video so we have you know class so we can use class attribute so this is the we'll create a CSS selector for this class so here is our VS code I created one spec file it's a chaining as a uh, spec.js and this is our first uh, you know describe block and you you, you know it and uh, here is a it block where we're going to launch our site and here is our actual test cases for 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 applying on this chaining assertion so there is another it block so first we're going to say we're going to find the locator or element so we'll say sci dot right get so it was a class right the element so since it was a class dot this is the locator CSS selector for that class and then we're going to use should right should and the first this is the first assertion should what so we want to verify we want to verify it's visible right so we're going to say b dot visible right visible that's our first right uh, the first assertion you can have it you can do it one assertion but we can add we're saying this is lecture this lecture is going to cover chaining assertion if you you know noticed our one of our previous lecture or tutorial we have it's a full tutorial it's a, uh, it's called assertion in Cypress and it was the example of you know on that tutorial we have seen you know using shoot command you know in different way to do your assertion like should be visible should have length should have text and then you know should be checked or not checked you know should be have you know the different option so all this was a different use case using of should uh, you know command in Cypress for doing your assertion so this is all our you know it's a single assertion here we are going to do multiple assertions first we're using a should we want to confirm this title this element it's visible and then we can do one more assertion in the same line you can say dot and we can use and parameter right I mean and command in Cypress which is available also for doing chaining assertion so and what do you want to do we want to confirm the automation practice that you know that title the text is also it's there you know it's match so we'll say and contain there is a contain uh, argument in uh, you can pass an and and what do you want to contain we want to confirm it has contained the taxes sorry let's copy that what's supposed to be contained this is the text right automation practice let's copy it or you can have the copy from here right and then paste it here 
so we're saying you know get the title uh, get the element of the title and which should be visible that's one assertion and it contains automation practice it has the this text also so there is a it's a two assertion and that's called the chaining assertion it's a simple con concept but it's give you extra layer of uh, you know automation extra layer of assertion for your specific test case save it let's run it so we're going to run by our uh, test runner okay so uh, here is a chaining spec launching browser so it's visiting the side first test is pass and second also pass you can see you know I'm not going to explain the first one just to launching the site also do some assertion to confirm it has a you know a code inbox uh, you know one of the text include on the URL uh, which is very simple you know assertion for to confirm that you are you have the right you know you visited the right URL and here is our our chaining assertion you can see there is a two assertion you see get first is get get the element you can see the you know output from the on the right side you can see the output on the right side and here is our assertion first one first one expected it this element to be visible which is uh, saying assert it's it's this is a pass right it's visible here and second one it's saying to contain it should have contain automation practice this message right and also this one is saying it's a pass okay so that's that in a very simple example of chaining a session I hope it's very clear to you and uh, you know just do some mo more practice by yourself check uh, uh, Cypress uh, their documentation there's a lot more use case uh, that you can do uh, you know of and a uh, command where you can you know uh, do some more multiple or chaining a session okay thanks a lot and you have a good one watch for the next uh, uh, tutorial